G'day. Welcome back. I've got to admit, things are getting a bit ridiculous in the bike department, but the reason for this video is to show you the new Fat Boy Scrambler. Are you starting to see bikes like these on the roads? They're sort of a combination between an e-bike and an electric motorbike, but none of them are like this. This is the Fat Boy Scrambler from Fat Boy Bikes. My mate Reese is one of the founders of Fat Boy Bikes and they've lent me the Fat Boy Scrambler to give it a good solid workout and let them know what I think of it. I'm going to take it for a long ride to test the battery range and also take it along the beach to see how it performs in sand. I'll do a bit of suburban riding and I'll also take it off-road to see how well it performs in the dirt. So come on, let's get started. So this has got the advantage of being like an electric motorbike but being an e-bike, it's road legal. It is, yeah, perfectly road legal, no registration, uh, wow. no license, um, but the freedom of a, a motorbike yeah, um, and a push bike in one. Oh, uh, you've come up with something pretty unique here. Yeah. That's amazing. For the battery range test, I'm gonna go from Thoreau to Beaton Park Leisure Centre, where I go to the gym. It's a round trip of about 34, 35 kilometers. And I'll get Reese to explain the features of the Fat Boy Scrambler while we do the ride. Our bikes, when we designed them, um, we kept it pretty simple as far as we thought, well, let's just be the best. Um, and then we'll just worry where the price falls later. So we think we've done pretty well and we've kept the price under full rent. Wow, that's extraordinary. We run a Bafang uh, rear hub motor. Yep. Um, it's a thousand watt, which is the biggest in its class. Right. Um, we do Tektro hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. Again, biggest in class. Yep. Um, we're running seven speed Shimano gears. Yep, independent upside down forks in the front, and it's a yeah. motorcycle rear shock in the back. It's fully adjustable compression and rebound. Okay. And our battery, we run a Samsung battery. It's a 960 watt hour battery. That's pretty uh, powerful. It's yep. 48 volts. Um, and you'll get a range up to 100 k's if you're putting in some pedal assist with it. Yeah, um, okay. But right. once you get it and ride it, it's quite rare that you do that. You yeah. always want to throttle it and ride it like a motorbike. And then you're getting <laughs> about 40 k's range. Oh, okay. So it's actually got a, has it got a twist throttle? Or... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got a twist throttle with an isolator. Right. It's got your Shimano 7 speed gears. Pedal assist. So you can ride it as a, a yeah. normal e bike, which runs through your pedal assist. By the number, the more yep. motor power there is to pedal. Gee, I think if I got this thing, <laughs> I wouldn't be using the pedal assist. I'd just ride it like a motorbike. That's just yeah. extraordinary. It is like the perfect replacement to a second car. Getting around town super easy. Uh, you literally can park at the front door of any shop you want to go into because it yeah. is a bike. Um, so yeah, the, the thing that kind of got us um, real eager about it was, I don't know if you've ever been to Bali, but when you're in Bali, you hire a scooter and yep. it's just freedom. You can pretty much do whatever you want over there once you've got a scooter. Right. Um, once we've seen that these kind of style of bikes were, were getting good enough to run purely on motor mm -hmm. with, with enough battery life, we thought, like, this is it. Yep. Now, this is like bringing that same kind of freedom you experience in Bali to Australia. Powering up, using the on button, um, your display will illuminate. Um, and then it's just got your standard features, time, uh, battery percentage, yep. trip meter, time it's been running, um, and then your kilometers per hour. Our bikes are sold legal, so they are restricted, yep. um, but you can unrestrict them, mm -hmm. um, which allows you to do up to 50 kilometers an hour, which you can do on private property. So if you're going to someone you know, who's got a farm or any right. private trails or anything like that, um, yeah, you can unlock it and use it at its full power. Is that the inner tube poking through there? or It's not the inner tube, it's an inner liner. And okay. It's just to, to help even out the small bumps. So if you're running over little rocks and stuff like that, it just absorbs the small bumps. Okay, um, well, that's great. So I've made it to the gym and we've got 64% battery left. So it's easily going to make its way home. But it being a lone bike, you don't have to lock it up. <laughs> Only kidding, Reese. You're having these manufactured um, overseas, you were saying? Yeah, so we and do uh, manufacture them in China. Yeah. Um, they are our design. Um, the components then, yeah. are from all over the world, but they get assembled in China. Yeah. And this is the first of three bikes that we put into mass production in China. Great. Um, the first batch landed uh, three weeks ago. We've, stopped, we've almost sold out 56 of our first. Good, that's just fantastic. Yeah. Very good. I've been riding with a strong headwind and using the bike in motorcycle mode for at least 60% of the ride today. 
but I've got back and I've still got 21% of battery. So the headlight um, is on a sensor that's uh, mounted in the screen. Yeah. So as the sensor senses that it's night time, the headlight will come on. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, great. As well as the rear tail light. And then once it gets enough light into the sensor, it will switch itself off. Yep. You can manually override that by holding the plug button. Yep. Okay, great. So, so really you don't have to think about turning the lights on and off, they'll just do it themselves. They'll just do it for you. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you notice it coming on and off and you think what's going on here, it's, yeah. it's got a mind of its own. It's, yeah, okay. Happening. If you see a, a stick or a, or a piece of rope that you think might be a snake, it probably is a snake. Right. <laughs> you see him a bit, yeah? I see red belly blacks here. You go ahead so I can film you. <laughs> oh. Piece of cake. <laughs> Good man. Hey, thank you. That was awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> well, it's, it's good. Ugh, that's pretty cool. Thanks, mate. Yeah. So, what do I think of the Fat Boy Scrambler? Well, this is a very versatile bike. You can ride it around town to the shops, you can go off road, you can go in the sand, and the battery's got so much range in it, you can really do just about a whole day's riding. The Fat Boy Scrambler is really intended as an electric motorbike, so if you're after an exercise cycle, this is probably not what you're after. But if you want a highly versatile bike that can go the distance and have a lot of fun and carry a lot of gear, then check out the Fat Boy Scrambler from Fat Boy Bikes and tell them Steve sent you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive. <laughs>